In today's video, I am showing off a very basic setup for a main menu in Godot and C++. The way we use C++ as a scripting language is Project Genova. So as you can see here, we have main menu, we have a play, a settings, and a quit button. Quit just exits project. If we go back in, settings brings us to the settings page where we can have toggles. And then finally, the play button takes us to the main menu of your game which for me is just a simple animation and doesn't do anything. So let's explain how this works. So in our title scene, we have three buttons. And each of these buttons has some text, but they also have a button state. And this comes from our C++ code, where we have this Genova property, which is an int called button state, and it starts at value of zero. However, we have its hint as a property enum, and then the hint string is play settings or quit. And then the hint usage is for the editor. So this basically does is it turns this regular int into a enum just in the editor. So here it looks like three options, but really it's just zero, one, and two. Then in our code, since we're inheriting from the button class, we get this on user interface input with an caller instance and a P event. So we get this node using get self. And then if the P event is, is pressed, so that means we press the button, we just write a little output clicked, although this would not be necessary. You could just ignore this part. And then I call a function based on which of these button states. So if it's click play, we call click pay from this node, get tree, and then we just go to our test scene. But if this was your game, you would do whatever main game file or game scene you have, uh, click settings, does the same thing. It just goes to our settings page and then quit calls get tree slash or pointer to quit. All right, and then once we're back in Godot, our three buttons, each of them line up to this. So our button state is play for play, settings for settings and quit for quit. And then if we go to our settings tab, right now it's just sort of a, it doesn't do anything as I don't have a game for any settings to apply to but I have this check button, which we could add a C++ script to, and you could do something similar, but instead of modifying what scene you're in, you could modify, for example, the volume and how loud you play it. So that's how it works. You could obviously add more properties up here. You could add more functions. You could make them do other things besides modify the, the tree and what scene you're on. But that was just a very basic demo I wanted to show off for this video. But if you want to see a more complex game that could use a main menu, you should click on this video here where I make a Minecraft clone in C++ and Godot. And until next time, see ya.